In this video I'll show you how I created my very own version of the Star Wars The Mandalorian poster and in addition I turned it into a wallpaper for you. So stay tuned and watch till the end to know how you can download the picture for free. But for now sit back and enjoy the video. Alright, so let's take a quick look on the images we'll be used today. In total there are 9 pictures of which 5 are basically just character pictures, including the original and new and fancy Mandalorian poster itself. I also used some particle overlays and some grass PNGs, but I think they aren't as important as these main pictures. Other information that might be important for you is that the picture has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels and it has a 16 to 9 format, which is like the standard format for your desktop screen. The artwork took me about 4 hours to create, plus like maybe an extra hour for masking out all the objects. Furthermore, I used a drawing tablet which I really recommend buying when you are a graphic designer, artist or painter working with Photoshop. Alright, now that we got some details about the project, we can actually start creating. Okay, now I gotta admit that the final version of this artwork is actually my second try because I tried it before but I wasn't really satisfied throughout the process of creating. The colors and perspective seem kinda off so I decided to actually start over and do it again and you know, sometimes you gotta do that and that's okay. I'm just telling you this to show you that nobody's perfect. Also if you want to learn a certain skill in your life, starting over and trying again is a big part of it. It's actually all about trying, repeating and understanding that's also my recommended tip for you if you want to get better at Photoshop. Just try it, create as much as possible and challenge yourself. That's honestly the best way to learn something new. Now, speaking of transparency, you may have noticed my YouTube channel is slightly changing and that's because I really try to improve my quality and especially the bond with my community in every video. So therefore, I'd like to introduce you to a new series I'll include in this and my future videos where you are actually the most important part of. So let me introduce you to Fabi's answering your questions. The first question is from Hussein Maslomi, I hope I pronounced that correctly, and he's asking if I use Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects for my YouTube videos, and yes, I actually use both, but mostly just Premiere Pro for editing and animating in general. I just feel a little bit more familiar with Premiere and more comfortable in it than in After Effects. Therefore I try to minimize animating in After Effects unless I want to make something which requires the program, because well, if Premiere isn't able to create a certain effect, then I gotta do it in After Effects. Like for example, the audio spectrum that you can see in this video is actually made in After Effects. Alright, Hussein Maslomi, I hope that answers your question. And if you want me to answer your questions, then just head over to the comment section and write me a comment. Just use hashtag Q in your comment and you might be in the next episode of Fabi's answering your questions. Oh and by the way, the questions cannot be related to Photoshop as well, so ask whatever you want. And now back to editing. I gotta say this editing session was actually kind of interesting because I tried out a new blending technique from Nemanja Sekulic which actually works pretty well. So if you are interested in it, I'll put a link for that into the description. Furthermore, I used a new and even better technique for my highlights which is much more accurate but a little bit more time consuming than just drawing highlights with a hue and saturation adjustment layer. However, I'll cover this technique in my next video, so stay tuned for that. So as you can see, I first started with obviously the Mandalorian and Boba Fett because they are probably the most hyped characters in the Mandalorian Season 2, besides the rumors about Ahsoka appearing in the new season. Then I thought, hey, you might want to put in Cara Dune, but in the end I thought, nah, she doesn't really fit, so I put in this absolutely cool Mandalorian soldier instead. I blended him and then I decided to put some more objects in the background and honestly I was a little bit struggling with that. I tried to put a massive star destroyer behind the three characters but that just looked like way too overfilled so I tried it with some TIE fighters and I wasn't satisfied with them either. So in the end I just decided to not put anything distracting in the background, just some little details like a crashed TIE fighter, a little Tatooine house, some communication poles and some soldiers in the very back of the fog. Furthermore I added some particles and then the picture was ready for the final touch, the camera raw filter. I made everything a little more pop and now it is ready for its presentation, so here it is, my artwork for The Mandalorian Season 2. Alright, 
if you want to download this artwork for example as your new background for your PC, you can just click the link in the description. And now I guess that's it with the video for today, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, it really means a lot to me and I appreciate every single new subscriber. And don't forget to comment your questions. Okay, so now I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week and I hope that I see you in my next video. Bye!